welcome back. I'm sorry for that glare on the floor right there. I'm kind of like on the floor in my craft room and the lighting is really bright in here. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this really cute Grinch wreath using items from Hobby Lobby and these little ribbon poinsettias that I showed you how to make in a previous video. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to make it. All right, y'all, let us get started. So first off, you're going to need one of these really awesome Grinch signs. This came from Hobby Lobby. As you can see, it's like a piece of canvas that is stretched over this little particle board type piece here. And this is its box. You see exclusively at Hobby Lobby. It was $14.99. No, I did not pay $14.99 for it because I got it on sale. If you don't catch their sales, then you can also use a 40% off coupon if you download their app onto your phone. So you're going to need one of those, a 14 inch wire wreath form. This one came from the Dollar Tree and you're going to need some mesh. I am going to be using three colors of mesh, green, white, and pink to reflect the green, white, and pink here. I didn't want a whole lot of red because I have red in my ribbon over here, which is why I'm using these colors. Now each roll of this is five and a half inches wide by 10 yards long. Now y'all know I usually use um, Dollar Tree mesh in a lot of my videos, so doing the math, Dollar Tree versus Hobby Lobby. Three rolls should be absolutely plenty to do this wreath. I also have two different types of ribbon over here. Now this has a lot of red in it to reflect the Grinch's outfit there. This is two and a half inches wide and it is 30 feet long. This is one and a half inches wide and 30 feet long. So you know this should be absolutely plenty as well. This was $9.99, this was $7.99. Again, don't, don't be put off by the prices here because that's not what I paid. Like I said, they have sales all the time. So what we're going to be doing, I'm just gonna be making basic little clusters here. You're going to need a pipe cleaner. Come here. You're going to need a pipe cleaner and you wanna cut that pipe cleaner in half and then take that half and bend it into a little V. And then we're gonna lay that over there. That is in preparation for the cluster that we are about to make. So let's start off making one without ribbon. What you're gonna do is you're just going to take your mesh, here's the short end, and you're just going to roll it over onto itself just a little bit until it makes a little tube, and then you're going to cut it. Now I don't measure these. If I had to measure it, I would guess this is about five inches about a little five inch wide square, and that is plenty big enough. So you're gonna take your little piece here and just roll it up into a tube and hold it like that. I'll take this and roll it up into a tube like that. And a third one, get over there. Stop making me look like an idiot. All right, take a third piece and roll it up just like that. Now you have three pieces. Take your little pipe cleaner V and just sandwich all of them in between it. Try to get your pipe cleaner as close to the center as possible and then just give it a few good twists and that makes your little cluster. Now we're gonna be working around the two center bars right here, not this one, not this one, the two center ones. Take your pipe cleaners and just wrap it around the two center ones like that. Now I'm gonna flip it over so that you can see what I'm doing off camera. I don't flip it over. <laughs> I just reach my hands around it and work on it. But anyway, hold still camera. Just give it a few good twists and there you go. Now, a lot of people have asked me, do you cover the back of your wreaths? No, I don't. I also do not leave my pipe cleaners looking like this. I go back when I'm done with everything and I trim them down all the way down to the part where it is twisted. So, you know, all of this excess stuff is taken away. But I don't bother with covering the back of mine. Okay, so now we're going to make another little cluster, but we're going to add ribbon to this one. So the way I measure my ribbon is because it all depends on the size, you know, the width of the mesh that you're using. I measure to one and a half times the width of my mesh. So I take my ribbon and there is one time and half of another. So one and a half times the width, just like that. Okay, so now we're going to take our other piece of ribbon. 
And this doesn't have to be exact. I mean, it's all gonna be mushed together here in a little bit anyway. So, you know, it don't really matter if it's precise. Now we're just going to dovetail our ribbon like this. No, I don't fold mine. Like so. All right, get that over there. Now we're gonna do the same thing for this ribbon here. Over there. And uh, you know what? I save every darn thing. So I've got a little box full of these little ribbon pieces that maybe one day I want to do something with. Don't know what I'm going to do. But we'll see. All right. So now I think I'm going to do a white cluster. I'm going to do the same thing. Taking the pipe cleaner and bending it into a V. And now we're going to take our pieces of mesh. And just roll them up. Hold them like this. Alrighty. Okay, so now we have all of our little pieces of mesh there. Now we're going to take our widest ribbon with the pretty side up. And then layer our thinner ribbon on top of that. Also with the pretty side up. And then just layer that on top of our mesh with the pretty side facing your fingertips like that. Now here's our, oh, stop it. Here's our pipe cleaner. Just wrap it around all of it. Like that. Just give it a few good twists. And then there is your next little cluster. And I really don't worry about fluffing up my bows and my ribbons and all that. And actually until I'm done with the wreath. Because if you try to do that, you know, the more you, ha you handle, ha! the more that you handle your wreath, you're going to smash the ribbon down in the process anyway. So don't worry about it until at the very end. Then you can go back, you know, and start the fluffing process. And don't worry about what it looks like while you're getting everything put on. Because it's going to look raggedy until you get a few of these sections filled up. Okay. So this is what we have so far. Like I said, this is going to look better here in a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put ribbon on every other cluster. I'm going to do pink, white, green, pink, white, green, all the way around, putting the ribbons on every other one. Let's get this out of the way. You should have 10 clusters per section. Now, if you're running out of mesh, because, you know, sometimes the rolls, they don't have as much mesh on there as the label says that they do. I've run into that problem a couple times. If you don't have enough mesh to put 10 on here, you know, just take some off and space it out until it looks even. You don't have to have exactly 10. If you run out of mesh, you know, and you've got like three or four more clusters to go, don't freak out. Just space them out a little bit further and, you know, you don't have to go out and get more mesh. Just work with what you have, okay? Now for this sign, as you can see, this is going to fit nicely. I mean, very nicely right down in the center. Now, I like to wait until I have all of my mesh on before I put the sign on. If you want to put yours on first, this is how I'm going to do it. I have these little eye hooks that I got from Walmart. They just screw right down into things. So, right around here somewhere, I'm just going to screw these down in there. And then later on, I'll run some floral wire or pipe cleaner or whatever through these little loops and fasten it to the frame. I'm going to do that later, but... If you want to go ahead and do yours before you make your wreath, you know, feel free. It also helps if you can take a little screwdriver or a pointy part of your scissors and just start like a little pilot hole and then start drilling it down in there. But anyway, I'm going to work on this and we'll come back and see what I have here in a little bit. Alrighty, my friends, this is what I have. I have all of my mesh and all of my ribbons in place and like I said I'm not even going to fool with fluffing these little babies up until I get the sign on and everything else into place so I want to sit that over here just for a second and let us take a look and see what all I had left I did have just a tiniest little bit of pink and white mesh left and pretty much no green so like I said you know you can't really always go by the label as to the yardage on these things but one roll of each would be plenty. Now, with the ribbon, I did have some ribbon left over on each one of these. And 
I did take some and make these ribbon poinsettias that I'm then going to attach to the wreath here in a little bit. And I do have a video showing you how to make these. I will put it in a link and a comment down below. I will pin that comment. So just go down there and check it out. So let's see for the sign. Where did it go? I just had the sign. Oh, there it is. Here's your sign with the little eye bolts. Like I said, I put in four. And now I'm just going to, I think I'm just gonna use pipe cleaners just because it's a lot easier to work with. So I'm gonna get four pipe cleaners here and just run them through the hook. And I'm just going to give it like just one little twist there just to kind of hold it in place like that. And then we are going to take the pipe cleaners and wrap it around the wire frame. Now, I didn't want to put a bow on this wreath because you know what? I'm just, ugh. Every wreath does not need a bow. <laughs> a lot of people, you know, put bows on everything and everything does not need a bow. And I didn't want one. I wanted something a little bit, I don't know, maybe like more odd shaped, I guess, because it's very like Dr. Seuss-like. <laughs> and that's what I liked with these. I just glue a spiky little pom-pom in the center and there you have something that looks like it came out of a Dr. Seuss book. But anyway, here is the wreath and I'm going to wipe the glitter off of this. Why am I even wiping the glitter off? I don't know. I'm trying to see, cause I want this sign to be like underneath the mesh. Yeah, but I think the best way is to just fit it in like this because it is just a little too large to try to work it in from the back. So I'm just going to work with it for a minute. Just squish it down underneath this mesh. There we go. As it was just big enough where I can't like go from the underside. <laughs> because when you, well, you'll see it if you get this and you make it on your own. When you set this down in there, it pretty much rests like right on top of that inner ring. Let me see if I can get the mesh out of the way so that you can see what I'm talking about. See how it just kind of rests right down on that center ring? All right, so now we're just going to take the pipe cleaners and tighten them up. Like I said, I trim all these ends of the pipe cleaners up. It's not like I just leave them sticking out like that. That would be a bit silly. So I do tuck them all away. Well, now come here. Oh, stop it. Everything has just been aggravating me today. I was like, is it your goal to get on my nerves? I think so. My cat got on my nerves earlier. If y'all follow me on social media, then you probably saw on Facebook, Instagram, and I also put in my Facebook group where my cat, Black Cat, had gotten into my craft room and ripped open a bag of fake snow. And that stuff was all over the floor. And then she's just sitting there. And I swear she was smiling at me. She's sitting there beside of a broom that I keep in here. Just staring at me like, yeah, I did it. All right, so let's get this on here. Okay. Now let's flip it back over. That looks better. And then I can mess with this mesh and everything here in a little bit. That looks a lot better. That is how I wanted it to look. Now, as far as these little uh, poinsettia thingamabobs go, like I said, I'll show you how to make them in another video. And I just left the floral wire like pretty long because then I'm going to decide where I want this. And then I'm just going to run the wire down in between the pieces of mesh here and just tighten it up around the wreath form. And then I'm going to go back and trim off any little frayed looking parts, fluff up the ribbon, and then this one will be good. I mean, you've already seen it at the beginning of the video, but you know, so you already know what it looks like. I think I'm going to put one here and then just put another one right there. And that's it. That is it. It's kind of reflective of the big one is the Grinch and then the little one's kind of like Cindy Lou. But there we go. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you would, please give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see y'all next time. Bye-bye.